Then on December 17th, 2017, Bitcoin price hit its peakest level here. Then deviation ratio was plus 351%. As usual, this is my portfolio strategy. So I only allocate my assets to the Bitcoin and all the other coins which is related to these six categories. And if you want to deepen your understanding about my portfolio strategy, I'd please check out my other video about my portfolio strategy. And here's my video link. Okay? Then my portfolio allocation says as of now, there is no change since last week. And this is my cash allocations and this is my performance adjusted one here. Then let's start for the Bitcoin. So, BTC USDT 4 hour chart. First of all, last week, we're going to experience this critical price move. Currently, this number, 61,844, is an all time high. Then, this is also a function like the distance line of this next bridge move. Okay? And this blue line is a critical trend line to forming ascending triangle for the bridge breakout. Okay? As I predicted last week, Bitcoin price, it's gonna hit bottom line here on top of this trend line. April 8th, 1 a.m., price hit $55,433 here. This price is exactly what I predicted last week, okay? After hitting this in the bottom formations, price is recovering like this one. We may need to have two bullish news to accelerate this bullish trend. First one is this one. April 8th, 6 p.m., America's second oldest bank, State Street, to enable crypto trading on its platform. This is pretty good news, right? And the other news is this one. Chinese tech firm made to buy 135 Bitcoin and now holds 100 million BTC and Ethereum. And as bullish news, and the price is move, moving to the news like this way. And almost Friday night, you know, US time, since stock market, also hit the bullish trend there. So the BTC price pouring up these trends. And then April 10th, 1 p.m. price hits 61,500. And for the next week price move, mainly we have two things here. First one is this one. Currently middle line of this Bollinger Band, functional like support line of the price move. And in parallel, in this price movement here, looks like mini flag is forming like this way. So this is also an instant that we're gonna buy experiences small bridge breakout during this week, okay? And then now next one, daily chart. Again, this is resistance line and this is support line. Then forming ascending triangle here, as of now. Then, as I predicted last week, trend line consolidation number two, 54 SADA, 55 SADA, 500. Then this was the stats, right? My prediction was correct. Then. Think about this week price move. Firstly, the key price that we need to pay attention to is this one, all time high, 61,844. Once Bitcoin price hitting higher than this number, next strong bullish trend will come to the market. Then here's actually good news about number two here. Because of April 10th, this price move, upper price line of Bollinger Band here is gradually on moving to the more higher side. Once we're gonna check out the stats as of now, the price number is 62 SADA, $13. These stats is higher than these stats. It's actually really, really helpful for the bridge breakout for the ascending triangle. Why? Because hitting higher stats than this number, it's a great trigger to make the next bridge move. Okay? But if the Bollinger Band price is lower than this all-time high number, Bitcoin price has to get over two price challenge. First one is Bollinger Band price at an all-time high. But now, Bollinger Band price is higher than all-time high here. That is why those bleach breakout, it's much easier than before, which is actually pretty good news, okay? So please remember this point. Then, weekly chart. There is no critical much update about you know, market analysis stuff. 
but mainly two points. First one is again ascending triangle. Okay, this blue line is my predictions, blue side. But also still there is a certain level of possibility of the ascending triangle formation failure. Because you know 61 side of 500 is lower than this price. Once we're gonna hit the failure scenario from this price range, we might experience minus 30 to 50 percent price corrections. Okay, so still it's not 100 percent for sure from the technical analysis perspective. It's still not 100 percent for sure that ascending triangle can eventually achieve bridge breakout. But here's the second item here, April 14th. Coinbase IPO. It's kind of best timing about we gotta take the you know, easier way about bridge side or bearish side for this ascending triangle. It's kind of a pretty simple scenario. If the Coinbase IPO stock price, Coinbase stock price, it's gonna hit that bridge side, ascending triangle, go to the bridge side. But if the Coinbase stock price going to the bearish side, Bitcoin price also going to the bearish side. That's my analysis, okay? Then from here, I'm gonna share more long-term price predictions about BTC South Harbin Bull Run in 2021. And then I mainly have three scenarios. Okay, and the first one, this one. So the biggest bull run after the third halving run up to 200K in April to May, and the bull run ends here. This is my main scenario, okay? As I told you many times. Then second scenario. BTC get lower break here, so which means that failure of the ascending triangle in April to May, and with 30 to 50 percent price questions. and then try the biggest bull run in summer with the U.S. stock summer rally, or the end of this year to next January up to 200k, and then the bull run will end. And third one, BTC get upper breakout here, so ascending triangle formation will be successful in April, May with plus 80 to 100% price surge along with stock to flow price predictions on May 19th, 102K. Then after 30 to 50% price collections and I try the biggest bull run in summary of the US stock price or the end of this year to the next January up to 200K, then and the biggest bull run will end. That's my major three scenarios. Then I'm gonna give the background for these predictions. It's this one. This is a stock flow analysis from the grass nodes. This blue line is a BTC halving. First halving, second halving, and now third halving. We are here now, okay? Then first halving is gonna happen November 28th in 2012. And almost exactly one year later, we're gonna hit the peakest price on December 4th, 2013. Then price deviations from stock to floor price to this, you know, peak price is plus 959%. Then price is going down like this way. Then second halving, is gonna happen July 7th in 2016. Peakest timing is actually 1.5 year later. So it's a delay down first halving moment. Then, on December 17th, 2017, Bitcoin price hits peakest level here. Then deviation ratio was plus 351%. Then what about this time? Deviation ratio itself is decreasing. So that's why I said, you know, this around 1,000 stats divided by this in 355 stats. Then my prediction here for the deviation ratio will be 127%. The key point is in the timing. Number three, May 15th or Samarani, usually it's gonna end in August or the end of 2021. Okay? Then, and about these price prediction scenario stats, I suppose these four major scenario on my analysis. Descriptions, stock to floor price, and the plus 127% deviations. First target, this one, May 11th, follow fast halving. This is the SDF price on May 13th, so plus 127% deviations, price will hit over 200k. And the second one is August Samarani, this price, third one is November 10th, for second halving, 1.5 year, then also hit over 200k. Number four, January 2022, 
for the DNA model, price is also over 200K. So as you can see here, I don't with any kind of scenario, still my price target is 150K to 200K. Okay, so that's my analysis. And from here, it's more about fundamental analysis. First one is as usual, stock to flow ratio. F to S price on April 10th is 76K. And the actual price is 59K. Deviation price gap is minus 21.6%. Larger number than last week. This is also pretty good signal for the British Fed. Okay? Next one, stock to flow deflections. So deflection nature, usually hitting over 1.0, is a alert signal and then less than 1.0 is a bull signal. Then current stats is minus 20%. Still bullish. It's good. BTC result risk. The score upper 0.2 is a red zone, so the market is too hot. But current stats on April 10th is 0.0076. So still in a safe area here. Okay? And the side one, BTC minor net position change. So setting pressure from the minor, plus sign is green and the minor sign is red and the plus sign means minor, they're not going to sell the Bitcoin. They're going to hold it because they're going to wait because their expectation is price gets higher. Okay? So current stats as of April 10th is 4,525 plus 0.1% than last week. Still, it's quite British. Next one, BTC NUPL. So this stat means Higher than 0.75 is euphoria, means market is too hot. Currently 0.696, still lower than this number, so still higher possibility for the bridge trend here. Okay. Next one, BTC stablecoin supply ratio (SSO). So BTC buying power from stablecoin market. Currently 16.85 is kind of support line of this price move trend. Then. Gradually, the stuff itself is you know, decreasing these days because direct buying power, crypto fiat exchange, or like you know, through the PayPal or through the institutional buying stuff, is getting hot these days. But still, this stuff itself is pretty low, still higher possibility that this price move is going to nose like this way. Then, next one, BTC futures perpetual funding rate. Currently, peak stats is here on March 13th, 0.121%. Then BTC hits also all time high here. Then current stats is here, 0.09% on April 10th. You know, it's a little bit higher range, but still it's not so in a risky zone yet. Okay? Next one, all market cap and BTC on our slides. Market cap plus 7.4%. Last week was plus 8%. So continuously growing. Okay? Then BTC on our slides. 53.3%, minus 2.69%, still big sharp decrease. Mainly this decrease caused by Ethereum and Binance. These two projects is in hitting nose pretty much these days. That's why, okay? And next one, WBTC market wins and burns April 11th. So still bullish. So a lot of you know, speculators are moving their assets to the DeFi space, not for the future trading stuff, because you know, they expect Bitcoin bridge market still continues. Then they try to make money on the DeFi space, such as yield farming and liquidity mining. Okay? Next one, BTC transaction fee, April 11th. And the next one, BTC transaction fee, April 11th, $18.02 plus 14.2%. Still not quite expensive yet. Okay? Next one, Google search trend. BTC minus 434, gold minus 677. USD minus 230, Ethereum no change, 3. Okay? Then gold price, still in a bearish trend. Last week on Friday, price closed at 7043. Okay? Then one risk asset market cap right in April 11th, Bitcoin still saying top 6 next to the Google, $1.11 trillion. Then one richest person lacking April 11th, Jeff Petos is the number one, 197 billion. And then Satoshi Nakamoto, Bitcoin creator and a 1 million BTC holder, currently top 21st, 60 billion. No change from last week. I have a clear opinion about who is Satoshi Nakamoto. And if you want to know about the detailed stuff, please check out my other video about my Satoshi Nakamoto. Okay? And next one, US 10 year treasury note since last Friday 
April 9th, 1.66 minus 0.064%. As you can see, it's a little bit slowing down these days. This means in my analysis, most of the money moving to the stock market. So look at this, S&P 500 going to notes like this way. Especially Friday, quite strong price move came to the market here. And also April 8th, US initial jobless claim, even it's gonna hit the plus 3.4%, plus take the bullish side here. I'm gonna tell you guys many times that risk on mode on stock market has always positive impacts on the BTC market. As I told you that summer rally on the stock market, they can accelerate the bullish trend on the Bitcoin price too, okay? And the same as NASDAQ 100, almost same price reactions, but a little modest now, SRP, okay? The next one, US economy is April 12th to April 16th. April 15th, as usual, initial jobless claim. The next one, key news updates. As usual, COVID-19, April 10th, stats is improved. Total infections, plus 3.1%. Last week was 3.6%, so it's improved. And death ratio, plus 2.6%. Last week was 2.7%. It's also a little improved here, okay? Then key news updates. Government ban on Bitcoin will be foolish. SEC has to appear. Amazing. Because she also mentioned that Shutting down Bitcoin just like shutting down internet itself. This is amazing comments because current market development on crypto space, blockchain space is led by US market. So we have to accelerate the regulations, industry development accelerations of the crypto and blockchain space in the US economy. Okay? Then a friendly reminder as usual. So industry development speed, internet took 15 years to overcome the bubble. The peakest moment of the internet bubble is here, 27 March 04th. NASDAQ index peakest stat was 548. Then, 15 years later, 2015, April 24th, index hits over these stats here, so 15 years overcome the bubble. Then what about blockchain? It's this one. Peakest moment of the bubble of the crypto economy is here, 2018, January 06, 849 billion on the entire crypto asset market cap. Almost exactly three years later, 2021, January 04, total market cap hits 860 billion. So blockchain only took three years to overcome the bubble. This means industry development speed is five times faster than that of the internet. This means if you seriously want to find out next Google or Facebook on the blockchain space, your decision making process should be five times faster than your investment activity on the internet space. Okay? Alright, so that is all this time. So I'm gonna make this video for the education purpose. So I'm not gonna guarantee you any kind of certain level of investment outcome with this video or any other video that I make. But I truly hope that my video will practically help you guys understand about high potential of the crypto and blockchain space. So I'm gonna make a lot of interesting video in the crypto and blockchain space. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Bye.